Hey, in this video, I want to show you some network basics, I mean really basics, and help you answer that question of, do I need a router? So I've got several pieces of equipment here. These are all just like plastic boxes, and they've all got kind of these little plugs on them. These are called Ethernet ports, or, or RJ45s. But they each do something different, and they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes, so you can't really go by how they look as a complete uh, definition of what they are. So let's start at the beginning. The first thing that you usually get when you get internet service for a small business or for your, uh, for your home is something known as a modem. And the reason it's called a modem is because it usually takes either a cable connector, so that's this thing, these, these coaxial cables that your cable service gets delivered in. This is just like the same cable that goes in the back of your television set. Well, if you have internet service from your cable company, it gets delivered on a coax cable. So if it's got one of those ports, or if you have DSL, it's delivered as a phone line, then this is a modem. Now, if it only has one of these plugs on it, then, that's, then it's only a modem. And the reason why I say it's only a modem is because now what you have is they make boxes that are combo units, meaning that they can be both a modem and a router, or in some cases, they could be a modem, a router, and a switch. So let's talk about what that means. So we just determined that this is a modem because it takes something like cable or telephone and turns it into a network connection. This is a router. It's a router because what it has is it has an internet port, and that's why they made that one yellow, because it's, it's coming from the outside world. And then they've got internal ports or switch ports. So this is a router that's got a switch built into it. Okay, well, what's a switch? A switch in a very simplistic definition, and I mean like really simplistic, you could almost think of it as like a plug strip for ethernet connections. So in the simplest form, what you might have in a medium sized network is you might have your modem, which is getting the signal through the cable, and then it comes out of this one ethernet port. It goes into a router, all right? Then the router has switch ports okay, that feed the computers. So these go to actually go to the computers. It may go to a patch panel on the wall, which then leads to the plugs by the computers, but ultimately the, the connections from here go to the computers. Now, I've only got four on here. Well, what if I need more? Well, that's where a switch comes in. A switch might be a five port switch, might be an eight port switch, could be a 24, could even be a 48 port switch. They come in all different shapes and sizes and levels of expense. But what you can do is you take one of the switch ports on your router and then you connect it to a switch. So now I've taken what was originally just four ports and turned it into three plus seven. So now I've got 10 ports available to me. All right, so to recap, you need a router if all you have is a plain old modem, meaning that the only thing that your box from the cable company or from the DSL company provides you is just one of these ports. That means it's not a router, it need, it, it's just a modem and you'll need a router. On the other hand, if the box you got from the cable company comes with a, several of these ports on it, then it means that it is a router and a switch already in one combo unit, in which case you don't need to run out and buy another router. If you, of course, if you're an advanced user, you might want to get your own router to do some special things that you can't do inside their box because sometimes they won't give you access to those. But, uh, but I'm just trying to appeal to people who are looking for simple answers. And the simple answer is if you got a box from your cable or phone company for Internet and it's only got one of these, then yes, you need to go get yourself a router. All right. Hope that helps clear up some confusion. Thanks for watching.